Hello students, welcome back to this new video. Just we are going to continue the, the next part of the lesson. The treasure within. He stumbled on architecture because he knew little French and less German. He refers to Mr. Hafiz contractor. Okay. He knew little French and less German. He was offbeat even in the pranks that he played on others. Offbeat means unconventional or new. Okay, that is not conventional. That is a new. He was offbeat even in the pranks that he played on others. When he found his calling, there was no looking back. Okay. Bela Raja raised, continues his conversation. Then she asks, how did you get into the field of architecture? As, as you said that you were interested in playing uh, and also you just uh, were learning, learning French and uh, German. Then how do you get into the field of architecture? This is what the question from Bela Raja. Then Hafiz contractor answers to her question. In the college for architecture, nobody who had got below 80 to 85 per percent was allowed to enter. Okay, if someone uh, wants to enter, wants to learn, wants to study, architecture he or she should have got 80 or 80 to 85 percent or else he won't be allowed into the college he can't be entered into that college so i had only 50 percent i had only 50 percent i wanted to join the army as my mark was not uh, not up to the mark so i decided to join the army I got my admission letter, but my aunt tore it up. Okay, I got the admission as well, but it was torn by my aunt. Then I decided that I wanted to join the police force. First, uh, I wanted to join an army, but my aunt thought differently. Then I decided that I wanted to join the police force. My mother said, don't join the police force. Just do your graduation. So I went to Jai Hind College in Bombay. There I was to either take French or German. So my plan, my first plan was to join an army. By my aunt uh, denied. My aunt uh, did not agree to join an army. Then I plan uh, for uh, police force, but my mother this time did not allow me to take on police force. So now uh, I have to join in some in, in some college. Okay, there I was to either take uh, French or uh, German. It was the college Jai Hind College in Bombay. Though I had studied French for seven years, I did not know seven words of French. So see, uh, I studied seven long years. I, uh, I was, uh, I had been learning seven long years French, but I did not even know seven words from French. So I took German. Then my German teacher died. The college told me that I could change the college or take French. Now, who would give me admission in another college? I had got admission to Jai Hind by influence. So I thought, okay, I will take uh, French. And I started learning French again. I learned it from my cousin. She was an architect's wife. Architect's wife. She was an architect's wife. I was going to 
on architect's office to learn French. See what happened. I was to either take French or German. Though I had studied French for seven years, I studied seven years fr uh, French, but I did not even know seven words of French. So this time, my my plan was to take on German. Uh, unfortunately, my German teacher died. The college told me to join uh, another college or take French. This is what my my book offered to buy in advance or reserve stumbled on which means got into architecture by chance offbeat unusual or unconventional calling means work or occasion of this of his choice then the next question was it then that you decided you wanted to do architecture actually it all happened quite by chance okay everything happened by chance in the architecture architect's office i i saw somebody drawing a window detail okay a person who draws drawing of window window detail he he was uh, drawing window detail a window detail is very advanced drawing i told him that his drawing was wrong the man who was uh, drawing uh, who, who who was drawing the window detail i told him that it was wrong that the window he had drawn would not open okay the window which he had drawn would won't be open won't be opening he then had a bet okay he then had a bet with me and later he found that indeed his drawing was wrong he came to know that his drawing was wrong in the end in the end of the argument he agreed that his drawing was wrong my cousin's husband was surprised he asked me to draw a specific things he asked me to draw a specific things which i immediately did okay uh, i found the mistake somebody was trying uh, window detail i found the mistake in the end it was proved that i was right that man was wrong my cousin's husband was surprised he asked me to draw a specific things which i immediately did he asked me to design a house and i designed a house after that he told me to drop everything and join architecture okay so this is how he joined he entered in into architecture so somebody was trying he found the mistake in the end it was proved that he was right and then his uh, his cousin's husband gave some uh, asked some questions and he make it made it out immediately then he found that he had some potential to make some good architecture so his cousin's husband decided to join him architecture he, we went to meet the principal of the college okay we went to meet the principal of the college the principal warned me i will allow you to take part in the entrance exams okay but if you do not do well i will not allow you to join okay uh, you have not got up to the mark to enter to study this uh, this course of architecture okay i give you the chance uh, you just i just allow you to uh, do your entrance exam if you get past mark i will allow you or else you will you have to leave this is what the uh, discussion between the principal and office contractor i got on a plus in the entrance exam and from that day it was a cake walk okay and from that day it was a cake walk what was the cake walk the meaning smooth ride something easy to achieve okay smooth ride something easy to achieve i had never ma made a plan but i knew 
how something look like from the top i had never known what a section was but i knew if you cut a plan what would be look like what would look like i stood first class first throughout after that i believe that all this understanding came from what i used to play and do during school i had a friend called behram difecha we used to have competitions between us for designing forts guns and ammunition each of us would design something in an effort to be different in school when i was in the second or third standard one of my teachers mrs gupta okay saw my sketches and told me see you are useless in everything you are useless in everything else but your sketches are good okay when he was studying the second or third standard his teacher one of uh, his teacher teaches mrs gupta told him that you are useless in everything but you your sketches are good when you grow up you become an architect when you grow up you become an architect i did that no at that time but she was right when i uh, when she was scolding me i did not care about it but this time it it became real okay i uh, this is the time later after i became an architect i went back to meet her and tell her next next question why do you think you did not like to studies why do you think you did not like studies was it because you felt you could not cope could not deal with the curriculum then the next question was why what is the reason you don't like studies uh, was it because you felt you could not cope uh, can't you study can't you cope can't you deal uh, the curriculum this is what the question from bila raja the answer is from hafiz contractor i was very bad at long wages science and geography i could deal with max was very bad i just was not interested i was bad in at long wages long wages i am not good at long wages so uh, science and geography i could not deal with max was very bad i just wa- was not interested i was studying for the sake of studying okay actually i have no interest i had no interest of studying in the sake of studying i did it what they taught me today i would forget after two days okay uh, within two days i would forget everything been taught i would not b- bother because there was no application of mind there to begin with next question did you think that what they taught in school was boring or did you feel that once you understand the concept of what was being taught you lost interest in the rest of the lesson answer living in a boarding school is difficult okay he studied in a boarding school so he talks about the boarding school living in a boarding school is difficult we were just living from day to day nowadays there are so many tests back then whenever we had test we used to do just copy okay so he he tells very frankly that he did never studied but he would copy he, we used to just copy the teacher thought that we had done our work next question from bela raja there is a contention that a giftedness and learning disabilities go hand in hand do you think this applies to you okay there is a contention that giftedness and learning disabilities go hand in hand do you think this applies to you then hafiz contractor answers well take some students from my class those who always stood first or second are, are today doing very ordinary jobs yes he tell something about his experience the students who got a 
first and second now they are doing just ordinary jobs okay so studies are something different next question from bela raja i have come across the situation in so many different places where people tell me that their class toppers are doing very ordinarily today okay i have come across the situation in so many different places where people tell me that their class toppers are doing very ordinarily today next see also agrees what hafiz contractor said next hafiz contractor in school i think uh, living our lives that made us teach smart i have learnt more by doing what i did on my own than what academics would have taught me see cope means manage handle deal with okay curriculum school subjects or prescribed courses of study gift nuts having special abilities stay smart smart by doing things independently by choice rather than force okay thank you